Hey there, movie buffs. Today, we're diving into a classic film that's a roller coaster of emotions, laughter, shock, and even a touch of sadness. So, buckle up because there's a lot in store. Released in 1944, this movie is a comedic gem filled with quirky characters and unexpected twists. Ever wondered about your favorite character in this film? The roles are as diverse as they come, each with its own charm. Share with us in the comments below which one stole the show for you. As the plot unfolds, you'll find yourself on the edge of your seat, both laughing and gasping at the outrageous events that unfold. The humor is timeless, and the surprises keep coming. Now, here's a thought to ponder what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic masterpiece. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, don't be shy, share your thoughts. And remember, there are many more funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting for you in this video, so keep watching. Who knows, you might discover something new about this classic favorite. So, grab your popcorn, get comfortable, and let's take a trip down memory lane with this unforgettable film. Your favorite character, the laughter, the shocks, it's all waiting for you. Stay tuned for more, and remember to share your experiences with us in the comments. We can't wait to hear from you. In my younger years, I was involved in stage crew duties, even working on a senior class play. Back then, I wasn't too impressed with it, and that feeling stuck with me for years. But recently, I watched a film adaptation with a star-studded cast, including some big names like Cary Grant, Priscilla Lane, and others. Well, the performance by one of the lead actors, often known for his charm, fell short of expectations. Throughout the movie, he seemed to overdo it, turning what should have been subtle humor into something more like slapstick comedy. And there was this Teddy Roosevelt angle that felt forced and unnecessary, adding to the disappointment. But amidst all that, there were a couple of actors who managed to shine, bringing some relief to an otherwise lackluster experience. Despite my initial skepticism, some might find this movie to be a hidden gem. The dark comedic tone and the plot's chaos make for an entertaining watch, especially for those unfamiliar with the story. Introducing friends to the lead actor's performance has often resulted in laughter, proving that despite its flaws, the movie still holds some timeless appeal. So whether it's my old reservations or a newfound appreciation, this movie remains a topic of debate. Some might enjoy it for what it is, while others may find it falls short. But one thing's for sure, it's left an impression on classic cinema. In the world of movies, Cary Grant has made a lasting impression with his roles in several famous films. He appeared in 10 movies that became important to culture, like She Done Him Wrong, Bringing Up Baby, and Notorious. Peter Laura was known for being able to speak many languages, including English, French, German, and Hungarian. He was really good at acting in movies, showing how flexible he was. Josephine Hull, with her husband, were buried in Newton Cemetery in Newton, Vilma. She did a lot in the entertainment world, and people still love and remember her for it. In a revealing interview, Peter Laura disclosed that he and his early companions coined and popularized the term creep, initially spelled creep, to denote an eerie or bothersome individual. Prior to his time with Max Sennett at Keystone, Hank Mann claimed to have worked as a steeplejack and a trapeze acrobat in a circus. Cary Grant, contemplating retirement in 1953 due to the rise of Marlon Brando and method acting, ultimately deferred his decision and returned to the screen for To Catch a Thief in 1955, extending his career until 1966. Cary Grant, a renowned figure in the film industry, played an active role in promoting MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas during the 1970s. Grant later joined the boards of Hollywood Park, the Academy of Magical Arts and Western Airlines. Meanwhile, Jack Carson received recognition with two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for his work in radio and another for television. Despite the success of the film, Josephine Hall and Jean Adair believe Boris Karloff generously allowed them to go to Hollywood for the movie while he stayed on Broadway. However, this was not the case, as Karloff was disappointed about not being allowed out of his contract for the film. Cary Grant Known for his roles in classic films, such as Hitchcock's Suspicion and Notorious, also starred in the movie Arsenic and Old Lace. Grant appeared in four Alfred Hitchcock films, including Suspicion and Notorious. He fell in love with Sophia Loren during the filming of The Pride and The Passion, despite both being involved with others at the time. Grant's character in A Fish Called Wanda was named Archie Leach after his real name. 
Raymond Massey's divorce from ex-wife Adrian Allen became the inspiration for the 1949 film Adam's Rib. The legal proceedings involved notable divorce lawyers Dorothy and William Dwight Whitney, who divorced after representing Massey and Allen. Following the trial, the ex-mistress Whitney married Massey, while the ex-mistress Massey married Mr. Whitney's ex-husband. During the war, Boris Karloff, unable to reprise his stage role in the movie adaptation of Arsenic, and Old Lace obtained permission to continue his role in a live performance for Gist Stationed in the South Pacific. In 1943, Gist Stationed in Europe had the opportunity to witness the yet-to-be-released film. Cary Grant, known for his role in the movie, consistently wore a gold chain with three charms around his neck. These charms symbolized the religions of his former wives, a St. Christopher for Roman Catholic Virginia Cheryl, a small cross for Protestant Barbara Hutton and Betsy Drake, and a Star of David for Jewish Diane Cannon. In 1944, Cary Grant starred in a film alongside Priscilla Lane titled Arsenic and Old Lace. Grant, known for his charming on-screen presence, found himself in the midst of various off-screen experiences. While attending a dinner at 10 Downing Street, Cary Grant, along with Charlton Heston, had the honor of meeting the esteemed British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Heston, clearly impressed, shared the experience with his wife Lydia, who humorously remarked, that's nothing I got to sit next to Cary Grant. Despite his prowess on the silver screen, Grant faced challenges with accents. His attempts at Cockney accents in films like Gunga Din and None But the Lonely Heart were met with widespread ridicule in the United Kingdom. In a curious turn of events, Cary Grant engaged in an experimental psychotherapy program that involved the use of LSD. Betsy Drake, his wife at the time, encouraged him to partake in this medical experiment to examine the failures of his marriages. Grant underwent approximately 100 sessions and claimed to have benefited greatly from the experience. However, later in life, he expressed regret, stating that he wouldn't have experimented with LSD had he known about the side effects. In a cautionary tone, he urged people not to use drugs. Grant's journey, both on and off the screen, showcases a man navigating the complexities of fame, accent challenges, and unconventional therapeutic pursuits. In a twist of fate, a famous actor was considered for a role in a Hitchcock film, but the filmmakers thought he was too expensive. Around the same time, another actor gained fame for narrating fractured fairy tales with his unique voice. Then, a well-known director, known for his serious movies, decided to try something lighter. This change brought him joy, like a breath of fresh air, making him truly enjoy making a film for the first time since another important project. The collaboration between these actors and the director resulted in a special movie different from what they usually did. It was a turning point for the director and gave the cast and crew a chance to explore new aspects of their work. The movie was loved by audiences and became a memorable part of cinema history. Overall, the making of this film was an exciting experience for everyone involved, letting them break free from their usual styles and enjoy being creative. It showed how versatile they were, leaving a lasting impression on cinema.